third and final week of the preseason is here. A fourth exhibition game is a thing of the past. It's the Cardinals and the Titans, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. Being located in the Music City, this building has hosted a lot of great music acts since its inception. But this is what she was made for, NFL football, and that's what we have today in Nashville at Nissan Stadium. Tonight, it's a preseason matchup here in Week 3 between the Arizona Cardinals and the Tennessee Titans. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you. And now we sit, CD, at week three of the preseason. And this is the one that the coaches probably think is pretty valuable, right? Certainly. This is the dress rehearsal. This is the one where your starters are going to play. You might even game plan a little bit more than you do with a normal preseason game. And then you've got to decide, do you bring them back after halftime? and get them going again in the third quarter so they're ready to go when the regular season begins. I'm eager to see how these coaches will handle that. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will go as a touchback and they will begin things at the 25. Arizona's offense takes the field and no surprises. The man that's guiding them, the pro bowler in his fourth season at the wheel of this offense, Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray had his Arizona Cardinals cruising in 2021, leading them to 11 wins despite sharing a division with both of the NFC title game participants. It was also Arizona's first playoff appearance since 2015. Like his team, Murray's improved each of the last three seasons and would have set career highs across the board had he not missed a couple of starts. And right away, they're going to stack him up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Murray now. Finds his running back, James Conner. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. They'll try to run for it with Conner. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. He'll send this up into the Nashville skyline, and it's a good one. 47-yard punt, a return of four. And it'll be Titan football. Here come the Titans for their first possession on offense and leading them out in his fourth season with the team, 10th overall in the NFL, Ryan Tannehill. There were a few eyebrows raised when Tennessee took Malik Willis in the third round this year, but rest assured, Ryan Tannehill is still the man in Tennessee after leading the Titans to the top seed in the AFC last season. His 12 wins were the most he's posted in nine seasons as an NFL starter. And he's only the third quarterback to lead the Titans to three playoff appearances in the NFL, joining Steve McNair and Warren Moon. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, the very first thing they told us, Charles, was we need to apply pressure early. And I would call that early pressure a nice sack to start the game. <laughs> and on the other sideline, I just have this image in my mind of the head coach on the headset with the offensive coordinator asking him if that's exactly what he saw in his mind when he called that play. And if so, is it going to be like this all day? That's a tough one right there. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. The NFL's leading rusher in 2019 and 2020, Derrick Henry. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Phillips. 
two yards on the pickup there. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, able to get the completion, but unfortunately not able to get the third down conversion there on that play. And I like how the defense approached that one. They knew where the first down marker was, and they decide whatever you want to have, you can. You're just not going to get the first down. Excellent tackling right there. On fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. Greg Dorch back deep. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. This is taken at the 18. They'll call that a 61-yard punt. He got all of that one. And the Cards will take over first and 10. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Murray a give. This is Connor. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Two yards the loss, second and 12. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle. And that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 37. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. To throw, it's Murray. He'll get this complete to Rondell Moore. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. From the 30 on second down, Murray. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 21. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Murray to air it out again. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. First and goal from just inside the five. Connor, not going anywhere. He'll lose a couple back to the six. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Second and goal from the six this time. Again, it'll be counter. And another negative play there as they stop him again. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. We all know how much running backs love getting the ball down near the goal line. They think they're going to find a way into the end zone. He hasn't had that kind of luck so far. Ends up not getting in on the last two carries. You know he's going to be upset about a missed opportunity. 
And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. To Connor on the check down. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. We can make this look pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Fourth down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. From the right hash, and this one just a chipping. Prater's kick is good, and the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. So after drive number three here, we have a score, and it's three points after the field goal. I would say the feeling out process for both these teams, I'd say it's over, partner. Everyone understands what's going on now. You've kind of probed a little bit. Now you want to start throwing the big shots. First three points up on the board could be significant. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little bit I don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. And now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. He's got a man complete. And he will step out of bounds, but not before he's all the way across the 50. It's a big play there for Tennessee. And even 40 yards. These preseason games are big in the development of rookie receivers, and now their teams want to see if they're going to be truly NFL caliber. So oftentimes, offensive coordinators will call certain plays to see how they react. Give him a big check mark for that one. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. A toss left, Henry. And he is going to lose yardage here. Different story this time around. We had that huge gain followed by a sizable loss here. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Here's Tannehill. That pass taken in by Burks. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Now Tannehill. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. It's spotted at the 14-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They start the drive with Connor, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Shotgun now for Murray. Burt has it left side. It'll go down as a gain of six. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. Connor up the middle. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. The left-footed Kevin Huber set to punt it away. Yeah, that 
That's a 48-yard punt with a coverage holding him to three on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Titans now just about ready to take over. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Back to throw, Tannehill. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, Definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Off play action, Tannehill. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. My Jay Sanders just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Chalk that one up to bad acting, I guess, because they certainly failed to sell the handoff and the pressure stayed keyed in on the quarterback. No Oscar awards for this offense, just a loss of yardage. Throwing on second and long, Tannehill, sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. And this is good. It was running kind of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that will tie us at 3-3. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start the drive with a give to Connor and a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Murray. And this is Ertz with it, right side. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. His fourth catch already in this first quarter. It's a first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. On second and nine, Murray looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hopkins. So the completion good for six yards. And now that sets up third and two. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn yet another first down.
3-3, a tight one after one on EA Sports. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Murray now to throw. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it. And it'll be second down. Now Murray. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. The Cardinals on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. Really good effort. He does it himself, picks up 15, also picks up the first down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Over the middle, complete. That's more. From the 17, Murray. Middle of the field, he finds Pascal. And the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. From the gun, Murray. He'll get this to Connor underneath. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Zach Ertz from three yards out. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Prater for the extra point. And the lead is now 10 to 3. So that one, a 13 play drive in total. And it ends with a Zach Ertz touchdown. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Well, reminder, opening weekend definitely in sight now. Thursday, September 8th, that's when it all gets going. The defending champs, L.A. Rams, hosting the team that many think could win the AFC, the Buffalo Bills. Charles and I will be there, and then we got some great matchups on that Sunday as well. Kansas City and Arizona, Raiders and the Chargers, and on Sunday night, Tom Brady, yeah, he's back, and his Bucks are heading to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's Tannehill. He's going to look deep for Moore. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. The drive will start with Connor. And he'll find a little space. He gets us up near the 10. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. 
Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. From the gun, a give to Connor. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Here's Kevin Huber now as he's on to punt for Arizona. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Taken in at the 22. So possession goes over here on the punt, and they will take over first and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Tackle made by Kaiser White. You know he can fly to the ball, and he showed it there. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. To throw is Tannehill. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he will have the Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed and on that route. He's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. A first down carry for Henry. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Here's Tannehill. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 41-yard line. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 41. Tannehill. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Now the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. But this time, the rush got to him in a hurry. And this came from the edge, and those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though. And they could barely get him under pressure. They got him again. My Jay Sanders. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. So third and long after the sack, tough task for Tannehill and the Titans. Back to throw. And this complete to Henry over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. 
On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here's Murray back near his goal line. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. On third down, it's Connor. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. The goal here is about getting any kind of positive yardage in this spot because you don't care who, you don't care how. You just want to try and buy a little space and get away from your own end zone. But in this spot, the defense was all over that play and equally motivated to stick them with a safety. This is taken at about the 14. Out come the Titans now. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. On second and nine, Tannehill flush to his right. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Tannehill now to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Tannehill. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively, or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. They don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead Take it, set it aside, and move forward. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Christian Fulton. And the Titans are going to take possession of the football. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. And the Titans getting set to go. 
And they'll take over here following the interception with good field position and a chance to take the lead with a touchdown. After the interception, here's Tannehill. This will go to Henry out wide. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. On second down, here's Henry. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Now it's Tannehill. Steps, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. And this will remain a five-point game. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. It's Jeffrey Simmons that time who got in to record the sack. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Now that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot, third and long. They'll look to throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. That sack by the D.N. to Nico Autry. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here's Kevin Huber now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, Less of a field goal attempt for him. They'll try the right side with Henry. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Now Tannehill saying, let's get to the line. And right side, Henry's got it. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And it brings up third and five now. Out of the gun, Tannehill. Escaping the... And a big loss here as he's taken down. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now. He's been terrific so far. 
Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. Well, the Cardinal offense is going to take over late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Murray. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. To throw once more on second and ten. Murray, screen pass to Connor. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Murray a give, this is Connor. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. This is brought in at the 21. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And it'll be Titan football. The Titans offense going to get one final possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They set up the screen for Henry. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Tannehill over the middle, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this one is incomplete. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this will remain a five-point game. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. Week three of the preseason is here. Everyone wrapping up their exhibition schedule. No games for the league on Labor Day weekend. And then it all begins. The 17-game regular season gets underway on the Thursday after Labor Day with the NFL kickoff game. And meanwhile, for the Titans, they too did throw the ball as well as they would have liked. And I think both teams would say there's room for improvement in the second half. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Third and two, Tannehill. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Yeah. 
Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Second down, here's an option right. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A good chunk on the ground on the keeper, 17 yards, first down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. On first and 10 is Connor. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. From the 45 on second down, Murray. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 44-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Throwing now is Murray. Finding Ertz again. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Murray fighting, lost the football, and they will take over at the 29-yard line. So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half, and that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security, and none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10, just shy of the 30. He'll start with a give to Henry. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Here's Tannehill. He finds his man complete. That's Phillips. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. A handoff, running left, Henry. And he's across the 45, it'll be second down. Three yards on that last carry, here's second and seven. Back to throw, Tannehill. He's gonna find his receiver, Chris Moore. And they're gonna have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 43. A nice pick up there of 11 yards and it'll move the sticks. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 43. And the busy night for Henry continues. And good work there in open space, and he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 
11 yards there, just like last play. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Again, it's Henry. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Tannehill. Looking sideline incomplete. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Now Tannehill. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Henry. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker, that the defense almost relaxed and said, we've got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. They'll run. It's Henry. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. From the red zone now, Tannehill. He's got the connection to Moore. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Throwing again on second down. Tannehill. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Tannehill. That pass complete to Moore. And they're going to get him down shy of the first at about the 13-yard line. Short completion, just four yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down. But the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. On fourth down, Mike Vrabel says, let's get three out of this. He sends on the field goal unit. And his kick is indeed good. And that will cut the lead down to just two. They certainly happy they were able to force the fumble, Charles, but wish they would have gotten in the end zone, only getting three points there and still facing the second half deficit. And they also will understand it's going to be a whole lot tougher to force another turnover the rest of the game because that offense, they're going to be all about ball security from here on out. So out now come the Cardinals. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. On first and ten, here's Murray. Throws this one right side to Pascal. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Now Connor on the toss left side. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of eight that time, and it brings up third down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially if we get deeper in the game. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line, 12 yards needed to gain a first down. From the gun on third down, Murray. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Monty Rice. And the Titans are going to take possession of the football. Partner, I think this one won't arrive very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. 
Tennessee offense set to go again. But following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and 10. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he will score! Touchdown, Titans! Ryan Tannehill, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Titans have taken the lead here in this third quarter. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is up to five. A nice tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score it. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee and they'll take over at the 25. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this too shall pass, this too shall pass, and finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Throwing on first down is Murray. Dancing to his left. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Murray flips his forward on a jet sweep. And he stopped immediately there. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Connor up the middle. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Connor going to get it again on second down. And despite the good footwork, he'll be hit and dropped shy of the 45. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. To throw is Murray. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Murray now on first down. This will be caught by Brown. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, 
and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now Murray. Buying time to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. Second down and goal. Murray. This is caught. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. Murray now third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, they certainly are running up today, partner, because they forced big turnovers already. And it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. They're going for it. It's Murray. And Hopkins has got it. Touchdown, Arizona. The three-yard touchdown pass, and the Cardinals have answered back with a third-quarter touchdown of their own to retake the lead. Big fourth-down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down and, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. The drive will start with Connor, and he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. We have played three quarters. You're watching preseason football on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Now McCoy, his first throw since coming in. And can you believe it? It's a second safety in this ball game. Every team has plays in their book to try and buy some room when a safety's on the table. But a big variable is how does each team deal with the pressure of executing in those situations? In this case, they didn't, and they gave up two points. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. Taken in at the 11. 
And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Here's the rookie, the former Wolverine, Hassan Haskins. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Forced out to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Well, this is getting ridiculous. Eight sacks now. That time multiple guys get to it. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. He'll send this up into the Nashville skyline, and it's a good one. Fielded just inside the 30. A nice job getting free on the return for 13 yards. And the Cards will take over first and 10. With the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Here's McCoy. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And the Titans are right back in this football game. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. This drive starts with a Haskins carry. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Second down, and they go back to Haskins. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. On third down, he'll drop to throw. That's caught Nick Westbrook Akine with it. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That gain on third down, good for 28. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. They'll run on first down. Spears. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And that's complete to Westbrook Akine. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Out of the gun now on third down. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Six. 
Again, he'll drop to throw. Check down complete to Haskins. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. They'll look to throw again. That's complete right around the 8. That'll go for a gain of 7 at its second down. On second down, here's a run from Haskins. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. They'll set up to throw. Hard throw, incomplete. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This for a fourth quarter lead. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The football going back over to Arizona now. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. On the ground, it's Clement to start to drive. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. For the opening play, the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll run again with Clement. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Punting now is Huber as he sends it away. Well, that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. From the gun, Haskins. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Trevon Wesco. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. 
So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 43. Now back to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they'll work this down inside the 30. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions, they are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Haskins now on first and 10. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Second down and they go back to Haskins. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced the third down, blanketed the field with coverage, nowhere to go with the football, forced the dump off to the back, and even then, they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it, they did it well in that last sequence. And his kick is good. And it will push the lead up to five. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll begin on the ground with Clement. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Looking to throw on second down. McCoy. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. You know, last week I remember asking you, what would an offensive coordinator be looking for week two of the preseason? Now we're in week three. Defensive coordinator-wise, what's he looking at? For the most part in preseason, you're playing pretty basic stuff, pretty vanilla defenses. You're looking for guys that play with abandon, that just go out and make plays. You kind of let their athletic ability take over in order for you to notice them. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And this will be taken at the 13. And he gets up near the 25 to about the 24 before going out of bounds. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Haskins with a run to begin the drive. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. Second down, and they go back to Haskins. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. They'll drop to throw. Open man is McMath. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. A give to Haskins up the middle. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. 
And remember, no overtime here in preseason. This offense hoping that's a moot issue as they try to finish this one off. Second down, and they go back to Haskins. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They'll set up a throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And yeah, they get him down about two yards shy of the line to gain. A third down pickup of five. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the, at the 15 yard line. Not too bad. All eyes on the Cardinals now. Down on the scoreboard. Just over a minute, 40 to play. You can't say the preseason isn't interesting. This has been great as they come up first and 10. Now McCoy being chased out left. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second. And for the third time now, this is going to wind up a safety. Unbelievable. So just nowhere to escape the pressure that time. He goes down for a safety, and that should all but do it here in this one. Yeah, they put up a good fight, but you're right. Now they have to kick it away, and this one definitely looks like a lost cause. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well, and they free kick it from the 20 now. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. The Titans go victory formation down to a knee. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward.